Hello, welcome. Boom! Look at this. I, I this is randomized. I, I just pressed buttons a bunch of times, and this is what this is. This is random. It's completely random. Yep. Kirby. We Kirby. Yeah. All right. I'm so ready for this. This is awesome. I fucking love. I love these little guys. They're stupid, and I I, I love them. Uh, what stage do we get? Small battlefield. That's. That's a pretty mediocre, mediocre stage, not that good for Kirby. Oh my god, and he is carrying this so far. He might zero to death blue screen. Oh, he's getting little hits in. Back throw into... He was cooking, just let him, let him, let him do his thing. And back air out of shield kills, the, the Kirby classic. Down B, sorry, I got just Blue screen! Yeah! That's what he does! I was kind of scared he wouldn't do it, because when I played him, he got it zero times, but he took a stock with it. I just can't even tell you what happened. I think there was like two different techs that happened. That's the first game. Fan fantastic. Anyways. Kirby is keeping him out. There's He can't make it back in. That is two of the quickest stocks we've seen. And we've only seen two games, so, you know. Her bonk hits him with the hammer. We thought we we thought it wouldn't be seen. But there it was. At 150, he could come back from these. He could come back. We don't know. We don't know. Don't don't count him out of the race just... Okay. Now you can. Now you absolutely can. Boom! Kerbonk moves on. Blue screen is down and the loser in progress. 3%. Hell yeah! A very yellow screen, and they, they decide to start on Battlefield. Buttercup has the cherries! What are they gonna do with it? If Pac Man rolled, let's be honest, come on. If Pac Man rolled, Pichu would have taken three stocks right then and there. Buttercup would have taken three stocks right then and there. It would have been awesome. This game's looking a lot clo closer than the previous one. He charged Galactica. What is he gonna do with it? Uh, none of these players like to use charges. Oh! Aw, oh, he, he was cooking, he was cooking, just let him, let him. Pac-Man is at 185, and finally the kill is secured. This is anybody's game. Pichu does do enough damage to come back from these. They you just gotta get those hits. Buttercup just has to get some hits. This is a very bad game state for them, for Buttercup. Grabbing ledge, coming back. Can, can, can Buttercup do it? He has Bell or Galactica charged. It was towards the end of that animation, so I, do, I could not tell you. I don't even know what move he killed him with. Uh, Pac-Man is going to try and take this 98% rage to the max. But Pichu hits, hits him with it. He's getting sent up and down. Just all around. He tries to up smash, trying to give uh, three times in a row, mind you. That up smash is not that good, buddy. Uh, and he kills him with a spike. Buttercup is coming back from this. He went from losing the first game to letting Pac-Man charge his bell. This is the counter pick he needed. He needed just the right space. Pac-Man not picking up his bell, but wanting to stand in front of it, hoping that Pichu would just run into it. Really close, Pac-Man is off the stage. Pichu could capitalize. And he, I, didn't, I don't know, he was, Baiting him. He was baiting him out. It was planned. It was according to plan, obviously. Buttercup's looking for a game three. Buttercup got he gets his game three. Buttercup is taking this away with a 144, 155. He's gonna be trying to use this rage to get a stock without it, let's be honest, he's not he's not gonna Oh my god. I lied. I lied. I lied. Hello? Pichu's gonna Buttercup's gonna take him out? If this was a crew battle game, he would be insane. 144, he just keeps on... There wasn't even a... Why was there no red screen for that? That was weird. Oh, I beat you one. He lost... Uh, Buttercup won. He lost the first game, but was able to get in his opponent's head and, and just read him. So here we are. We're back here. Cracked Packed 1-1. One, one. Buttercup won... Not 22. He won two. Boom! We have Maiden and Sauced Up next. And they're starting off on 
Kalos? I'm honestly shocked. I always thought Sauced Up was actually not that good. Oh! And Maiden gets the read, killing at 97. Which isn't too crazy, but... That was an insane read. Um, Maiden's watched videos of Steve just spamming up air and and up till you know everything that swings the axe upwards trying to use them and apparently getting it affected effective enough to kill good for them oh and sauced up wow okay that was the biggest brain play I've ever seen the leading into an SD that was so okay listen listen let's be honest sauced up sauced up was cooking they just they were in the kitchen for a little too long. My sheet! This is my sheet! This is where I'm I'm keeping track of their shit. VFX artist against Sauce Daddy. And they picked Final Destination. That's a bad stage for Peach against VFX artist. And we're about to see that in a moment. Oh my god! Neutral B into the grab? If only they let up that down throw with something awesome. <laughs> Peach is just gliding all over the place. Oh my god. I'm actually really excited to see more VFX artist gameplay. Okay, well not right now. <laughs> this is pretty sad to look at. Sauce Daddy's honestly doing a lot better than I expected her to. Because she's pretty she's pretty bad. Wow. Okay, I I just got shell shock. Um I wasn't expecting Sauce Daddy to take any stocks at all, let alone this early. Does can she take a game? Are there people rooting for Sauce Daddy is the real question. I know VFX artist fans aren't. Hell yeah, she does. That's not a screen I thought I would ever see. Mm. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, that up special could've killed if, uh, or that up air could've killed if, um, they just finished off the full attack. But they were able to they're able to drag it down into their up or up smash. Which is weird because I tried to train them not to use it because I think that up smash is pretty bad. Because it's like Samus's and do you know anything about Samus? Bomb bomb! Okay! <laughs> we're just gonna we're just gonna drop it. Drop it like it's hot and pretend like we didn't see anything, huh? Oh! Oh my god, when did BFX get the lead? I didn't even, I thought they were a stock behind. Might get a third game. She does not want to lose the, the second game. She wants the run back. And it looks like she's going to get it. Pokemon Stadium. The, probably the most balanced stage. This this game truly, truly tells us who is the better amiibo. Ooh. Yep. Yep. When she's... when oh, She always does it twice. you got to remember that. And up next, we have Cat Mario versus Little. Which is... Honestly, I'm quite excited to see how this turns out. Cat Mario is not scared to rush in there. Little Mac is, or Little is giant and metal, and he's rushing in there, and he's just taking it home. He, he has the disadvantage, and he's just working with it. Oh, and he almost died again. I, I unfortunately think Cat Mario has it. He tries to cape him, that's just straight up mean. Little, little lost, yeah. Let's see. Wow, final destination. Maybe he's trying to get more more bang for his buck. Oh my oh my god! Starting off amazingly. Getting two up smashes. Cat Mario is now understanding to stay away from the Big Mac. He wants to only be near him when he's little. Already catching up to him in percent. Little, oh, Little Mac has KO Punch. Mario's trying to keep him in the air so he doesn't have to deal with it, and he successfully gets rid of it. Little Mac is behind, very close to the ledge. Really scary, because Cat Mario has gimped him twice. He does not want to be over there. Oh! Oh my god! And he just does that to him? Cat Mario is going to be up against Microwave or Loon and Boon, while Little Mac is going to be up against...
Whoever loses. Now let's get let's go to Microwave and Loon and Boon. You guys have not seen Microwave at all. Let's see what I don't even know what she's cooking up. I'm gonna be honest. Let's see. Wow, this is probably the most like interactive game. Because our hits are actually landing. But Loon and Boon are that very Jesus Christ. They have even it up, even though at the beginning of the Oh wow. Loon and Boon uh, currently have the lead. Even though they're terrible start, they, they have brought this back. At the very start, they started off very weak, but they, they came back. Oh my god, it could be anyone's game. Smokey Lynx tries to go for the kill. Lucario, or... Did he? Did he throw? I heard his, um, Zare go off. I think he threw. Also, that was a pretty close game. That was, that was quite enjoyable for me to watch. Take damage, unshocking... Uh, not... What the fuck? What the hell just happened? I was, I was trying to make words. Okay, well, well, I was gonna say, game plan take damage, purposely took damage from the bomb, and apparently that was terrifying to Youngling, so he fucking killed himself. You know, completely reasonable, I would be terrified too. And up next we have two of my biggest, or the heaviest, I think, Three, two, one, but I think go. Piranha Plant and King K. Rool are my heaviest. He instantly starts off with a counter. Both of them throwing out the projectiles they have. King K. Rool does not have this crown and apparently he has no interest in getting it. This is just Thug Walker. As one does, you cannot blame him. He gets another counter. He does not miss those, apparently. Mm. Mm, I was just about to say, perfect opportunity to capitalize. And Beanstalker knew what he was doing. Instantly up smashing, not even hesitating. Oh my... Oh... Oh my, he could have made that back. He just didn't air dodge. He could have, he could have survived. Unfortunate. What? I don't know what, that was a weird interaction. King K. Rool just stood in front of him charging while well, Ronda Plant also charged. Wow, okay, damn. That was, that was a roller coaster. That was a, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm still, still processing everything. Okay, thank you, Cracked Bag. Sitting there for an hour and we're going to be and watch you two dance around each other. Mm. The sandbagging's actually crazy. The second loser's match. We're starting on Hollow Bash. <laughs> Already trying to go for the kill with a spike. This is just a solid game, I don't know. There's not really anything special going on. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god. 173. If they three stock sauce stuff, that's gonna be really depressing. There was a forward smash there. Yeah, there definitely was. This is the ratios, and if you look, the worst ratio is. Negative eight on Inkling, taking a total of four stocks and is officially out of this tournament. Probably performing the worst out of all of them. So far. Again, so far, but you know, <laughs> you can only do so bad. And we're back with Little and Microwave. Again, really unfortunate for Little to be put against two zoners. Also, they're both metal. I forgot. Oh no, Little Mac! Oh my god! He's obviously sandbagging. He's obviously sandbagging. That's what's going on. He, he's just so confident. He's like, oh, you're another metal user? Yeah. You, I know metal, metal better than you ever will. Oh my! It was the aerial punch! God damn it, little Mac! This is what I was talking about. This is what I was talking about. Sometimes he just, he just goes a little bit up in the air and he's like, ah, fuck it. He sandbags so hard. Oh, it, I'm... If he comes back from this... This, like, entire set, not just this game, but this entire set, I will... I will eat my shorts. I will eat my own pants. Another KO punch. Wait, wait. They're saving it for the next stock. They could three-stock right here. They were sandbagging for extra power. Wait, no, don't do it, don't do it. Okay. If he turned around and KO punch, it would have been all been over. No. Okay. Dude, I'm, I'm terrified watching. Oh, I hate this. I hate this. Is the most. Wait. No. Oh, yep. He just runs up and he just does it. 
He backed off. He was a little scared, but once he saw the grab, he was like, oh, yeah, no, this is my opportunity. Little Mac sandbags just to come back harder. But like I was saying, I think I think Little got in losers on purpose. I mean, look at his name, Little. He wants people to think he's less than what he is. And he's here to show them what he really is. Yeah. You can't just be charging shit in front of Little. Oh my god, that... That was insane. That was a crazy set. The sandbagging, it... It actually hurt me inside. Smokey links against big old belly. And I, listen, I don't, like I said, I, I try my best to be unbiased, but if you go, if you have a fat uncle, you know those Smokey links do not last long. The real question is, can big old belly three stock Smokey links? That's, that's what the real question is. And I think it's coming. I think, yep. Oh my God. I think there's a spike coming. Nope, okay. Nope, he SD's. Okay, remember I said I think he's the best? I think he's SD'd more than Little Mac. Yeah, based off of the like first 30 seconds, I'm gonna say I think I already know who's gonna win this. And it's not the person whose face just hit the screen. Okay, maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe I spoke really soon, okay. I'm so sorry. Wow, Kirby has an insane portfolio right now. Which is why I think it's more fun to watch this than to watch competitive play because it's like oh wow we're timing out again as sonic oh wow damn uh, the game's last has lasted six minutes and you're playing pac-man i'm sorry I was, i'm getting aggressive it's not even i'm not even talking about the game anymore but i just have a lot to say okay all right here we got cat mario with the drop down and loon and boon hitting boon is the worst thing to ever you could ever do and Cat Mario would not get the message yet. Just trying to kill- Actually, killing both of them! Oh my god. Loon and Boon was running Cat Mario for his money, but that one- That one forward air, knocking Boon down, and having Loon side beat into the map, not being able to grab ledge. I don't think it was that that screwed them up, though. Cat Mario is doing a fantastic job at keeping them away from each other. Because he knows what happens if they're put together. Loon and Boon will show up at your doorstep and beat the shit out of you for fun. Using drop down twice to split them up. Cat Mario is at 174. Never mind, he's dead. Loon and Boon heard me. Oh, Boon's dead! It's only Loon! This is the first time we've seen solo Loon. You know, that doesn't die immediately. Okay, I lied. Like I said, okay, so I guess we'll never see Solo Loon. Saloon. Saloon! Oh my god! That was, I, I planned that. I purposely called him Loon. Called her Loon, so then whenever she's on her own, it'll be Saloon. Oh my god, I'm ahead of my time, honestly. Let's, let's be real, guys. And this is the final match before everybody has played twice. So, we'll we'll get a look back at their statistics once everybody's played twice. And honestly, game plan take damage versus Beanstalk is a terrifying thing to see. Like, if you told me this was... I mean, maybe not finals, but if you told me this was semi-finals, I'd believe it. He released it. He released his poison and got like, what was that, 5%? You can't be standing in those! Yep. Yeah. Kirby has the highest ratio at a um at nine next with um it's piranha plant at seven steve or yeah steve was six me gunner with five that's crazy me gunners and losers aren't they and the lowest being negative eight with inkling and young link at negative seven he's able to kill cracks pack needs to be scared he's going for it doesn't get it. He, he's yep, and there it is. And then he immediately rushes to the glass zone and dies for it. Who would have thought? Charging or sphere, fully charged. Throwing him back. Gonna throw it out. It's unfortunate that it was, was Pac-Man and he just side beats to get rid of it. You do not want to see him at this level. Cracks Pack has to get rid of him now, otherwise he's gonna be in a world full of pain. And it looks like he's in that world right now. Taking that damage, not taking the stock, though. 
He needs to finish it off. But Game Plan has other plans. They're just dancing around each other off stage. This is terrifying. Back throw. Aura Sphere? No. No. We don't like to have fun. Okay. They're both at very high percents. It's not a matter of will Cracks Pack win, but will he take the final shot? No. I don't even know my lingo. Desynced? What do they do with it? Nothing. Just, um, Loon gets thrown off. Boone is dead. We have Saloon out and ready. Out on the prowl. The people love Saloon. I hear them, I hear them cheering. Saloon, Saloon, Saloon. What does Saloon do with its now solo nature? Its single life. Actually starts working for it. Starts working for the damage. Oh my god. Can Saloon take the... Take them out, take VFX artists out with 180% to their name. Hitting the bomb so it doesn't explode on them. I'm I'm sitting up. If Saloon does this, I'm actually gonna be so proud of them. Avoiding the the bomb hitbox by getting hit by the bomb itself rather than exploding. And taking out VFX artists by themselves. Saloon is loud and proud. We didn't get to see any of the Saloon likes to go out on their own terms. <laughs> At least they got that extra damage, am I right, from that forward air? Mmm. Taking big damage. Even bigger damage. Separated. Unable to recover. Wow. I keep on- every single time they freeze, I'm like, why don't they just forward smash? They just... Forward tilt and then, um, up air. And it just works. It just works. Boone almost died, but was able to recover on their own. Loon is still alive, and... Okay, so Loon was, did not get the chance to come out. VFX artists could bring this back. They are getting the damage necessary to bring it back. VFX artists is keeping their ground. Making sure the people are in... We get to see a game three. Wow, oh wow, okay, okay, hello. Loon and Boon got pissed after the last game. What the hell was that start? And they're only, they're not even, they're behind in percent even after a start like that. Perfect, oh my god, perfect um, air dodge, or spot dodges. Going perfectly over the bomb to... Yeah. You know, sometimes you play out of your mind and it just happens. Okay, a three stock is not what was on the list. Honestly crazy to me that Sauce Daddy has made it this far, but we've seen what Little Mac can do, both bad and positive. Apparently he doesn't want to sandbag this match though. <laughs> he knows how embarrassing it would be if he lost to Sauce Daddy and he's afraid. Starting the match off, like officially starting the match off with 114 and 23, even losing a stock immediately. Yeah, and it's Buttercup against Big Old Belly, which we've seen last time. You, you put food in front of Big Old Belly, he eats it, and he's not done eating. And he ate. Kirby's crazy. Kirby's actually crazy. I... He didn't... During this entire tournament, he's lost a total of three stocks. Also, Hollow Bastion, not the best map for this. Not, I mean, not the best map for either of these. So, uh... Hello? Amiibos can do that? What the hell? I, I didn't know that. Wait. He really he was going for the forward air. He felt it. I know you felt it. Oh. Piranha Plant. He's gonna go for it. He got the spike. Cat Mario got the spike. And he gets thrown up. Both of them are massive to start. But. Oh. Yeah. 
Oh wait, what happened to Little Max Metal? I thought it always just disappeared last. Is there a reason why it disappeared first? Wow, okay. He has the tail punch. He hits it, but, you know, big old belly was at 0%, it's not gonna go. Also, it might have been an aerial punch, I can, I, I don't know. Huh. Pinky rules, keeping him out of his area, throwing him back, knowing Little Mac's weakness, and it paying off. It does not look like this match is in Little Mac's favor. Little Mac just goes for the aerial KO punch, getting a kill. Hoping to hoping that his strong damage is enough to get him the win. He shields the crown, but unfortunately gets hit by the nair. He's at 125. King K rules rising in percent. Very rapidly. Getting kept up in the air. Getting killed! And little Mac barely beats King K. Rule. He comes back. From little Mac lost his first game and has been winning losers matches ever since. If I was Cat Mario, I would be terrified. And like, who did he lose against? Oh. <laughs> now we have Cat Mario versus Little. The. The champion of losers versus the guy who put him in losers so i guess we'll just have to see and it looks like little mac is not gonna be sandbagging this match uh oh uh oh cat mario seems to be careful getting the hit uh oh all right that that could have killed ko punch uh oh Saving it. I, I expected him to use it then. He tries to catch the landing, but it's Cat Mario. He has he has his pounce attack. Mmm. 130%. Oh, wait. Lamac all the way off the stage. 175. Yep. I, I felt I felt it. I felt a spike coming. Little Mac unfortunately only loses to Cat Mario. To decide who goes up against the loser in finals, surviving the meteor by landing against their anvil. The meteor smash by landing on their anvil. And dying to an anvil. Kerbonk has the Minecraft ability. What does he do with it? Jack. He does Jack with it. 2.18, which is better than 2. So, let's just have to see. Who can win Grand Finals? Mm. Going for the to risky hammer, but still even stocks. Getting the up smash. Immediately getting up smashed himself. Beanstalker off the map. Bonks trying to bonk Kirby or trying to bonk Beanstalker. Beanstalker missing the spike, but Kerbonk gets it and kills. Potentially the last match. Kerbonk using the rock to catch Beanstalker. So, oh my god, what news at like 60? That shit kills at 60? Jesus Christ. Dying to the next four looks nice. And here we have our, our champion of our, the first ever tournament.